my name's Susie Burden. I'm head of school at Forston Manor. I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch our virtual presentation and welcome you to our Year 7 information presentation. Hello, my name is Graham Bowden. I'm Pastoral Deputy Head and Senka at Forston Manor. Uh, I'd also like to welcome you to the presentation. Uh, we very much look forward to working with you over the next five to seven years and hope that the presentation will give you everything that you need to know about what Year 7 will hopefully look like for your son or daughter. We have been working hard behind the scenes to ensure that we are ready for your child when they arrive in September. Our pastoral team have been in contact with each of our feeder primary schools to find out more about your son or daughter, as we like to find out about the whole child and not just the academic. We are very proud of the pastoral care we provide for all of our students and their families. We've always believed that a child will only learn effectively when happy and without losing sight of the need to secure the best possible qualifications, every effort is made to ensure that our students are well cared for and given a wide range of opportunities both inside and outside of the classroom. At this point, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce each of the heads of house and the pastoral teams for each house area. Hi everyone. My name is Ms Haddock Quadrio or Miss HQ and I teach performing arts and I'm the head of Chroma House at Fulston. I've been at Fulston for about four years and one of the things that I really love about the school is our sense of community and commitment to making sure that every single person is valued. In Chroma I work with Mrs Forder and our team of tutors to make sure that we get to know every single student in order that we can help them to succeed whatever that might look like in their time at Fulston. We have some students who are obviously very nervous coming up to us in Year 7 and some parents who are a bit nervous as well. In Chroma House, we are your first port of call uh, for any questions or concerns that you might have and we'll do our best to work with you to get those resolved as quickly as possible. I am so proud to work somewhere where not only the staff work really hard to make sure the students are supported but so do the other students. They're such a helpful bunch, they're really willing to take the Year 7s under their wing and I think that's one of the great strengths of Fulston that we have such a community spirit. It's not just something we put on the website but everybody matters, everybody succeeds and everybody helps. I can't wait to meet you all and I'm really looking forward to welcoming you into the Chroma family. Hi everyone. My name is Mr Deeks and I'm the head of Hales House at Foster Manor School, the Hales family. I work alongside Mrs Wood, who's Hales' pastoral assistant, and together, along with their new tutor, who they'll meet in September, we will be looking after your son or daughter when they arrive to Foster Manor. Foster Manor is a fantastic school and we pride ourselves on the pastoral care that we're able to offer the students when they arrive and throughout their time uh, at Foster Manor School, which obviously and hopefully will be five years, possibly six or seven if they go into our sixth form. Hales office is based in the Hales house area, so the students will have no problems finding us because they'll see us at least five times a day and they'll meet their tutor every morning as well. So if they have any concerns or any issues that they wish to raise, they can do it either with their tutor registration or with Mrs. Ward or I at the beginning of the day, during break time, lunch time, or even at the end of the day. We all will do our level best to try and help them out and uh, sort out the issues or concerns that they have raised. If you as parents have any concerns or issues and you'd like to raise them with myself or Mrs. Wood or their tutor, you can email Hales Office uh, or contact Hales Office and our contact details are on the school website. We will get back to you and we'll obviously discuss any issues or concerns you have uh, and we'll do our level best to help in any way we can. Mrs Wood and I and the tutors are really looking forward to meeting your son or daughter in September and along with our house prefects and the school prefects we'll make them feel welcomed and they'll settle in really quickly. Foster Manor School is a great school. I'm very proud of the fact to say that I've worked at Foster Manor School and been a pastoral head there for a very long time and the, the pastoral care that we offer the students is second to none. The relationship we have with our parents we pride ourselves on because obviously working in conjunction with yourselves that then only can serve to, pos to positively benefit your son or daughter whilst they're at school. As I said before, we're really looking forward to meeting with them in September and obviously at some stage throughout the year we will meet with yourselves and obviously get to know you much better. 
So until September, take care, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hello, I'm Miss Jeffrey, and if your children are coming up and joining Morrison House, then I'll be their head of house. They'll also have Mr. Westby as their assistant head of house and Mrs. Goodyear as their pastoral assistant. We look forward to seeing them soon and if in the meantime you have any questions and you can find our contact on the school website, please do just drop us an email and if we can help them we will. Otherwise we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, bye. Hello, my name is Mrs. Franks and I'm the head of house for Stanhope House area. I'm looking forward to meeting everyone in September. We have a wonderful pastoral team here to support you and the students when they arrive. I have Mr Rhea who is an assistant head of house and I have two wonderful pastoral assistants Mrs Stanley and Dr Stevens Neves. In September when your child arrives we will be there for them every day from 8.30 to 3pm. If you ever feel there's a problem or you would just like to speak to someone we are always available via our telephone number on their website or by email by contacting Stanhope House area. I look forward to forging a fantastic partnership with you over the coming years. Have a good evening. Back in October, you may have visited the house areas while taking one of our tours. Each house area has around 260 students across year seven to 11. This is their place of safety during the day. In each house area are student toilets, lockers for students to place all their belongings, access to the canteen. The pastoral office is also based here and always manned either by the head of house or pastoral assistant. The house office is your first and main point of contact as parent or guardian in the same way your son or daughter's year six teacher has been this year. The house area is also a place where students can socialise and have fun together. One of the big events is the Christmas dinner. This is the time for students to celebrate together with staff and peers. The school timings are very different to your child's primary school. We run a two-week timetable. This will be confusing to begin with, but every student will be supported by their tutor when they arrive. Each student will also be assigned a buddy in their tutor group, who will be able to help them during their induction. Each of our lessons are 70 minutes in length. At the end of each lesson, students have time to move around the school safely to get to their next lesson. You'll notice that we have a tutorial period called PDC every week one. This stands for Personal Development Curriculum. This was formerly known as PSHE. The personal development curriculum is designed to help students gain the skills, knowledge and understanding they need to lead healthy, independent lives and to become informed, active and responsible citizens. All our students are encouraged to take part in a wide range of activities and experience across and beyond the curriculum, contributing fully to the life of the school and the wider community. This is an example of what a Year 7 timetable may look like. The two-week timetable does mean that week one and week two may be different. Each student will have a timetable which is individual to them. They should not worry about it being different to their friends as they will have the opportunity in unstructured times, for instance break and lunch time, to socialise with each other. It's beneficial for students to prepare their equipment, homework and bag the night before. This will help reduce anxiety and we hope will ease stress levels for students in the morning. As you can see, we offer a broad and varied curriculum in Year 7. The aim of our curriculum is to allow students to acquire appropriate knowledge, understanding and skills in preparation for the next stage of their education and beyond, to develop creative, imaginative, inquiring minds with a willingness to take risks in their learning, to encourage high aspirations, and to develop high standards of literacy and numeracy to ensure equality of access to the curriculum and successful progression within and beyond education. Falston Manor recognises the importance of home learning to support the classroom curriculum and as such promotes a homework timetable that underpins classroom learning but also allows students to manage their time at home. As you can see every student will have one homework per week from maths, science, French and ICT. All other homework will be in the form of projects. If students would like to stay in school to complete homework we do offer a homework club every evening. This club is supported by teaching assistants and is located in our ICT suite and library. Students therefore have the opportunity to access both computing and printing facilities. The management system we use to communicate homework and behaviour is called Class Charts. From September, every parent and student in Year 7 will receive a username and access code. The benefit of using Class Charts enables both students and parents to monitor homework being set and its deadlines, praise points for volunteering, quality of work or participation in class discussions, and negative behaviour points for non-submission of work, low-level disruption or being exited from a class. 
Though it may seem some time away, throughout their time with us, we are preparing our students for the world of work. Therefore, we would expect all students to arrive with the correct equipment for every lesson. Some of the subject areas will require some specialist equipment, such as scientific calculators, set squares and protractors. The reason for using the specialist equipment in Year 7 is to help students make quick, accurate mathematical calculations and to help the students expand the scope of their mental abilities. In relation to behaviour for learning, we also expect all our students to have a can-do attitude towards their learning. Our school motto is everybody matters, everybody succeeds, everybody helps. We believe that quality learning occurs when students feel that they are in a purposeful and peaceful environment. Creating an exceptionally positive climate for learning requires a behavioural expectation for all. The expectation is for all students to make progress in relation to their attainment at Key Stage 2. Our curriculum is structured in such a way to ensure students will be challenged sufficiently to enable them to make greater than expected progress. Students are periodically assessed throughout the school year. When doing so, teachers are encouraged to use a number of methods to help them track progress such as end-of-term assessments, homework, class books, class discussion, projects and coursework. Assessment grades are reported back to parents three times a year. In addition to this, students will receive grades from end-of-year examinations. You will also have the opportunity to discuss your child's progress directly with their class teachers at a parents' evening once a year. When teachers communicate student progress, they use our attainment and attitude descriptors. We do expect all our students to be working between a grade 7 to 9. However, if a student is displaying a variable or poor attitude to learning, communication will be made between the teacher, parent and student to identify a plan of action or intervention to help improve the learning. At the end of Year 7, students receive a tutor report detailing both academic achievements and contribution to school life and the wider community. The student's tutor is key in tracking the student's academic progress and monitoring their well-being. They are the person who knows your child best, after you of course. From this point onwards, we are entering into a partnership with you as parents and guardians for at least the next five, if not seven years. The partnership we forge with the families we serve is integral to our students' success. Your continued input into the education of your child is a vital part of that success. Attendance is very important to your child's growth and success. We do expect students to attend school every day on time. We do, however, accept that there may be exceptional circumstances, such as within the current climate. At this point, we acknowledge you may well be anxious about the impact missing a significant amount of their education will have as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. We'd like to reassure you that as a school, we'll be working hard in the coming months to ensure that this loss of time does not impact your child's progress in the longer term. Some of the greatest benefits for attending school regularly are achievement. Students who attend school regularly are more likely to pass reading and math assessments than students who do not. Opportunity. It allows students to forge positive relationships with their peers and staff, having a sense of belonging. Exposure to English language. Regular school attendance can also help students to master the skills and information they need more quickly and accurately for the different subjects. Also, being part of the school community. Just by being present at school, your child is learning how to be a good citizen by participating in the school community, learning valuable social skills and developing a broader world view. By way of an example, Sam is in Year 8. His attendance is always around 90%. He thinks that's pretty good, but what does that mean in reality? 90% attendance means he is absent from lessons for the equivalent of one half day every week which is the equivalent of four whole weeks of lessons in an academic year. Studies have shown students whose attendance remains at 90% for the whole of their secondary education have less than 50% chance of achieving five GCSE grades 9 to 5, previously A to C. You'll have a copy of our attendance policy in the information pack received. This sets out our expectation that all students attend school regularly and on time. Holidays will not be authorised for students in term time. We are proud of the support we can offer our students. If you feel your child does require additional support, please contact their tutor, head of house or the SEND department. Once students are referred, they'll be placed on a waiting list. The vast majority of students benefit from the support given in school. There are though times when we may need to refer to outside agencies for specialist support. 
As a school, we believe that positive reinforcement is the most important factor in achieving the desired level of behaviour from all our students. Although details of the system of sanctions will inevitably occupy more space, this should not be taken as an indication that more time is spent on punishment rather than praise. The overwhelming majority of students at our school behave well and are provided with the positive encouragement of their endeavours in both formal and informal ways. Whilst most encouragement will tend to be informal, arising naturally from classroom interaction or through the pastoral system, there are formal reward structures. House points and positive points through class charts provide the most immediate and widely used of such systems. The house point trophy is awarded at the end of each term and is a keenly anticipated award in the end of term assemblies. Praise postcards and certificates are also awarded for good work within subjects, as well as end of term trophies, school colour badges and ties, attendance certificates, head teacher's commendations, star of the week, hot chocolate Fridays and a range of other methods of recognition. Students are also rewarded by being given positions of responsibility, most obviously through the prefect system. The school operates a tutor group of the week, tutor group of the term and tutor group of the year and house of the year system. There is a financial reward for the tutor group of the term and tutor group of the year. Attendance, punctuality, participation in school events and praise postcards all contribute positively to tutor group and house success. Students in year 7 to 11 are issued with a community card at the beginning of every term. This is an opportunity for praise and reward as well as a reminder of basic expectations of behaviour around the school site. The cards are carried by all students at all times. Students are expected to wear uniform well and to have all their equipment and be on time for lessons. The cards will vary in colour and may change throughout the year. If a student receives five signatures from staff or fails to carry a card, they will receive a sanction. We also use the Sims Parent app. This is to enable effective communication with home. At the beginning of September, we will send you an activation code and details of how to access your account. In the Sims Parent app, you will find important information such as attendance, behaviour, achievement and homework. School term, staff training days and contact details available at the click of a button. You'll also be able to access your child's school report and grading sheets. Receive notifications to remind you about important information such as key dates for your diary and access to update your contact details so we always have the most up-to-date information in case of an emergency. If at any time this is not accessible, you can contact your child's tutor, head of house or the help desk via the school website. We are very proud of our uniform and the pride our students take when wearing it. You will already have received information on where to purchase our uniform. Please though be aware that as our suppliers reopen, they are operating an appointment only system. Please contact the supplier and arrange the appointment as soon as possible. They have assured us they have everything in stock. We would ask that you please pay particular attention to the guidance on school shoes. We do expect students to wear appropriate footwear. If there are exceptional circumstances, this should be communicated with the tutor or head of house. We do not allow any form of trainers, whether fabric or leather. We provide a wide range of opportunities outside of the classroom, including sports, performing arts, ICT and art. We also run trips abroad, which allow students to experience different cultures and languages, to destinations such as New York and Barcelona. We have a state-of-the-art sixth form block, which will be a facility available to students who opt to remain at the school for their post-16 studies. It's a wonderful learning environment for our A-level students, but also houses the school's library on the ground floor, which is accessible to students across all years, before, during and after school. You should, in addition to receiving both your welcome letter and house allocation letter, receive a pack of information about uniform and trips. Within that pack, there is a data collection sheet and an in-touch parental communication sheet. Please can we ask that these documents are returned to the school office by Monday the 6th of July. Our SEND team have been in contact with all our feeder primary schools and we've been holding discussions about the students joining and receiving information regarding the support required for students with special educational or additional educational needs. Our staff receive regular training and use targeted strategies as part of quality first teaching in the classroom to provide support to our students across all areas of additional need. 
If you have any concerns surrounding your child's needs, please do not hesitate to contact us via email, the details of which are on your screen now. We're currently planning on welcoming Year 7 on Thursday the 3rd of September. However, this may change depending on the government guidelines. We will be sure to communicate any changes to you with as much notice as possible. Assuming nothing changes, students meet at the front of the school at 8.40am. They will join other students in the same house and be guided to their house area. They'll spend time with their head of house and then with their form tutor. Following an initial tutor period with just Year 7 students where they will receive their timetable, student planner and a map of the school, they will also have a tour of the school to help orientate themselves. Although we've had to water our transition programme, we're still hopeful to provide all Year 7 students with an induction programme from the point they join us in September. The induction programme has proved to be a huge success in previous years. During this time, students will have non-curricular lessons which are aimed to help the students transition carefully and for them to learn about Falston Manor School's ethos and culture. As previously mentioned, you should have already received a welcome pack. Listed on the screen now are the documents that should have been included. If you have not received this pack or you're missing any documentation, please contact the school's office via phone. Sorry we haven't been able to meet you in person, however we hope this has covered everything you need to know. If not, your child's head of house will be making contact via phone in the next two weeks and will give you an opportunity to ask any questions you may have. We very much look forward to welcoming our new Year 7 students in September and to your continuing support in the years ahead. I hope that this presentation has been useful and has answered all of your questions. Obviously, if you do still have any questions, your head of house will be in contact with you and they can address those for you. I hope that we will all see you in person soon and we're looking forward to welcoming students to our school site. Take care, stay safe and we'll see you soon.